friends, we are going to go see if there is any more cucumbers out here after I came out and picked them yesterday. But here is our onions. And I added dirt to them. And every time I come out here, there is more and more freaking weeds. I mean, I just picked weeds yesterday out of this. So... All of this is onions. That is garlic that I don't know. It really, I don't know how. It didn't really do very well, to be honest. I don't know what happened. So, let's go in here and see what we got. Pulled a bunch of weeds yesterday. But I'm trying to get them away from my plants because the bindweed in here is terrible. But we got these little tiny tomato plants that are just, I don't know. Got a few big tomatoes. And then oh, we yeah, have these crazy, look, there's more cucumber plants growing. I'm just pulling those because there is no way. There's way too many of them. Here is our tomatoes. And hopefully we'll put on some tomatoes. I think there's one in there somewhere. Oh, there's another one down in the bottom. So a few crazy carrots that decided to come up. There's more. Look right there. It's a tomato. There's a bigger one down there. And then here, these are Roma tomatoes right here. So, all right, let's come over here and see. I mean, I'm not real I don't really care too much if I, you know, break them or whatever because here's my green beans. I plant like 10 of these plants and I got two. That just means you have to just freeze them and not really do much. There's a jalapeno. I don't know what that is, but I'm pulling it because it looks like weed to me. That's a bell pepper. But we don't have no bell peppers on there. Here's one. I'm gonna pick it just because I'm trying to do little, little things, little pickles. Yeah, we're trying to do little tiny pickles or like pickles for. Um, oh, what? Um, oh, holy Toledo. Y'all look. This one grew back behind there and up the side of the building. That's insane. But, and then the grass just keeps coming back. Pull and pull and it just does not stay away. There's a few beets. There's a cucumber that I apparently missed the other day because it's a little bigger than what I want, but that's okay. There's some little ones. I think it's about three. I don't know what y'all can see. All I'm doing is banging the camera. Leave that one on there. I did pickle beets last year. And everybody seems to. I haven't tried them yet. I have some in the fridge though. That's wild. That one just grew right up there. This is going to have to probably come off at some point. We're going to have to try to redo all that maybe next year. Let's see. Anything else? 
We got these Thai peppers growing right here. That's good because I make this sweet, spicy Thai pepper sauce that oh, my kids just went crazy over it. So, we got some big old jalapenos, that's for sure. All right, guys, let's go in and oh, there's a bell pepper. Can you see it? Right here. Crazy. All right, let's go in and see what our next step is. All right, guys, so we have this huge colander full of cucumbers. So now we have all our ingredients. We have mustard seed, some dill weed, some black peppercorns, pickling salt, and vinegar. So those are the ingredients that we need to make this. So we are going to move these things and we're gonna start cutting the ends off and start cutting up some cucumbers. All right guys, so here we go. We are just gonna cut all the ends off. So that's just the way we're gonna do today. This one's gonna be interesting because I'm not sure what in the world has this weird little, I don't know very strange to me so uh, let's get these all cut up and we'll see how many I think it goes by how many pounds of pickles maybe to look at the recipe again but I think it's like for four pounds of pickles or cucumber or whatever um, we needed to get these used especially the ones that were in the fridge because you know you can't do you can only do so much with cucumbers and it won't be long and we're gonna have a boatload so I may bring butter pickles last year so we're gonna do these like hamburger dills or whatever like some dill pickles um, we might try doing some, um, uh, just sweet pickles or like pickle spears, maybe. Let's see. There we go. Because once we get them cut into, um, like pickle slices, then I'll measure them and that way we know how many we have see that would be a good just regular pickle so I've been trying to cut the, catch them before they get like this size but you know sometimes it doesn't work that way at all but that's okay so let's get to the next step okay guys so I have this little waffly um, slicer and so we're just gonna make I think it makes them look better like they're really um, like hamburger pickles yeah these are a little bit a little bit big but that's okay So, I mean, they're probably a little bit thicker than what they're supposed to be, but, you know, I can only do so much with this little cutter. I don't want them to be too thin. So, let's cut up some more. We'll just keep cutting. And... I'm sure you don't want to see 
I don't know how to speed up my video or I would just slice the whole thing, all of them and just speed it up. But I haven't figured out how to do all that with this program that I use. Because I used to do it in Canva. And I would load them into the quick thing for the GoPro and then I would um, compress them and put them into Canva and now it doesn't let me do that anymore. Canva doesn't. So I don't know what changed on an update or what happened. But it stopped letting me do that. I need to try to get this one a little bit smaller. I mean, I'm trying make them thin but you know you don't want them so thin that you don't have anything to enjoy so but wherever I got this little thing it is definitely a winner. I wish I had found new, I had thought about it when I did the bread and butter pickles last year because that would have been really nice. Really nice design for pickles. So some of these I don't know, they're all the same. I picked them all out of the same. Well, I didn't plant any. These are all volunteers. We did not plant one cucumber plant. And I can't tell you how many cucumber plants I picked, you know, pulled up because there were way too many. But yeah, I can't wait to make, use those Thai peppers to make that sauce. I think I have one jar left. And my kids love that stuff, especially on I don't know, they eat it on everything I like it on, um, egg rolls, Thai food, but, you know, not everybody likes Thai, but it's good on, on rice, too, anything that you want a little bit of, um, like spice and sweet, hot, it is a little spicy. Wonky one. So, but this is almost. I don't smash my finger. So, all right, let me finish these and we will be back. All right, guys, so we went and measured this on our scale that I use to weigh packages, and it came out to four pounds and point one ounce. So we got it pretty close to four pounds. We still have these left over. Um, probably make some cucumber water and maybe put that in some vinegar. And just have fresh cucumbers in the fridge. So let's get to our recipe. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is put Six tablespoons. You double check that. Let me put that here. 
six tablespoons of canning salt. And yeah, so that ain't going to work. We're just going to have to open this whole thing because I'm not playing these stupid games with these containers at all. And I'm running water in the sink because it's, it, this is for um, a hot pack, so I'm heating up the jars. And then I'll just put this in something else because that's for the birds. Plus, it's, you know, swampy. Because unfortunately it's been humid here. So I'll put six in here. This is a tablespoon. Three. Five. A lot of salt, my friends. So there's the salt. And then water and the vinegar. So we're going to add four and a half cups of water I don't know how much this is actually going to make but I guess we'll find out and we're putting hot water in here folks because the water is already hot and it doesn't really matter because we're fixing to heat it up anyway so there's four cups of water. And now we have and then we need four cups. And this is a four cup measuring cup. So, right there. So, then we're going to pour it in here. Into the Heat it up to boiling. So hopefully we can. This has a pot boiler for pee. So hopefully it'll heat that up. And now let's wait for that to come to a boil. Let me heat these jars up real fast. And I don't know how many do we need. Because I don't have a clue. All I'm going to do is just sit in this hot water. It don't really matter, honestly. Alright, let's wait for that to boil. Alright guys, so we're just filling these jars. It says to fill them to half a head space which is typically like this line right here on the jar, the second one, but I'm just filling them probably just below that line because really like it matters. Cause I mean, you're still gonna put a few other things in here too. So that work. And I'm not really heating these up y'all. I'm just gonna heat my um, water in my canner and I mean these are going to be hot from this liquid anyway so then we'll just um, 
go from there. I mean, I, I've done it before. It's not the first time. I usually don't start from hot. So, it'll be, it'll be just fine. So, like I said, I don't know how many we're going to get out of this. Looks like there's four. We might get two more, maybe. So I'm trying to shove some of these down in the bottom. So, but, of course, some of our pickles slices are a little bit big, but... There's four. I don't I'm gonna have to figure out my uh, canning jar situation before my next canning session because uh, um, the go you know, to get lids probably. I mean, obviously, when you once you can these and just store them, you take the ring off, which is this part. And make sure that it's sealed and you stick them you know in a cool dark place um, and they can stay they'll be fine for at least a year not a little bit longer um, we currently have bread and butter pickles we made last year and we have what else do we have in there um, canned turkey so we had a, a turkey that was bought like at Thanksgiving and we didn't use it so I cooked it partially cooked it or par cooked it however you want to say it and we um, took all the meat off put it in jars and pressure canned it and yes you can do it and it'll that meat will be good for 20 years or so so you know if you're um, into those kinds of things. I mean, we're just trying to use what we have and what we're growing to keep our um, pantry stocked so that we can have fresh fruit or fresh vegetables, um, you know, pickles. Um, I was hoping for more green beans and more uh, garlic for sure so I'm not sure what happened to the garlic unless it just happened to get that messed up from our weirdo winter we had because yeah we definitely had a weird winter so let's see maybe get one more after this maybe I mean I can finagle all these in there not all of these but we're you know putting some of these little ones in there will help fill in some space but so what do y'all think about all these people getting deactivated from the delivery apps um, you know I know that I quit hashtagging these companies and I started just trying to you know not really uh, hashtag them I don't I just I use the word delivery app a lot um, I know that I do put some of the like the mileage and stuff on some of them so I may have to just stop doing that I just tell you what it is I mean I think we can still maybe go do the ride along and um, got a few more that I need to get in here I guess if we don't we don't so now our stuff is boiling so So now we got it boiling. Turn it off. Also need. Let me check and see what else we need to add to these, and I'll be back. All right, guys. So the next thing we're gonna do 
because these are obviously like dill kind of pickles. So it says two teaspoons per quart. These are pints. I'm only going to put like one and it's really not, and I'm using dried because I don't have any fresh. So I did go look to see what, um, you know, what the ratio dry dill to fresh dill was. So, um, yeah, we're just putting about one-ish um, in each one of these. Then we need to put some mustard seed in these and peppercorns. So it says half a teaspoon and a quarter. Man, that's a lot. That's a lot of mustard seeds. But what else do you do with a, t a boatload of um, cucumbers? You know? I don't really know. But in fact, we may just. a few extra because this thing is almost empty and they're probably not the freshest of the bunch because we have a lot of like old spices so we're just going to use all of that and then now I'm going to put it says two but peppercorns in each one. Why? I mean, that's kind of wonky. Just two in each one of these. Hopefully. I don't know if I put any in that one or not. And we got a few, a couple extras, so there we go. Alright, that is all that we need to do there. So the next thing is, I'm going to pour this into that four cup measuring cup wherever I set it down and that way I can just pour this into the jars and then of course we'll have to get the canner out but these are just water bath cans so it's not we're not pressure canning anything so so that I don't, like whatever spills, we can save. Hmm. Nothing like the smell of vinegar. Hopefully I don't overfill any of these. For the rest of these, these, this in here, and I 
see if we have any that are like way over. We might just stick those in the fridge. And those can be our... need just a touch I think this one for sure okay there we go now we're gonna lit, put the lids on and we'll see you back air bubbles in them and you're supposed to like take the air bubbles out but honestly we see too much I'll just shake them up good and I think they'll be fine I mean I could see if they were like super packed but these are not Too bad. So four pounds of. All right, guys. So we have all of the pickles in here. There's two layers. So there is seven on the bottom. And these two on the top. They are full. I mean, they're like underwater. So you, I did put hot water in there. We're back on the hot boiling um, setting. Hopefully, it will stay problem we may have is if this water starts boiling out which it probably will um, then the biggest issue is going to be water on the cooktop which in turn turns my cooktop off every single time so yeah but it's okay we once this boils once this big old pot of water boils, you gotta let it boil. It says for 15 minutes. But I think mine has to boil a little bit longer than that because of the altitude. Um, I'm not really sure. I know in pressure canning it does. So, uh, maybe you don't on, because it doesn't say anything about it in here. Like, um, So yeah, we'll um, just, it's weird because like this is a quick thing, but then, I mean, it's weird. It says, um, so if you're in a pickle and can't wait days to can, you might want to try this quick and easy recipe. This one is quick and easy and no, I don't have days because otherwise you have to brine your pickles for several, like several hours to a day. You know, it's like four to 24 hours to um, brine pickles. Because I know that's what I had to do with my other ones. Because you have to draw all the moisture out of them. So this one, you don't do that. It's just a quick and easy um, hamburger pickle. So, 
we'll see how it goes. And thank you all for being here. Thanks for joining us today. And I will, once these cool off and they've spent some time in the fridge, or at least the ones that I'm in, I'm put one jar in the fridge, um, we will do a taste test and see how they taste. So that will be on another video. So thanks for being with me. I hope you enjoyed this quick and easy pickle making day. And if you want to join us over in, at Digging to Financial Freedom, where I'm going to show you how much money we made this week and what we were, what bills we actually will be paying next week with the money that we earned. So thanks again. Bye. All right, guys. Well, here we go. So I'm gonna I'll just wipe off the lids, with a little bit of water. Um, yeah, I didn't. I forgot to wipe the. That's interesting. But it sucked down, so that's a plus. I'll just leave that on there. And so I'll let them sit for 24 hours and I may put one in the fridge so that we can try them tomorrow. So we will be out delivering tomorrow and we may just be telling you um, instead of showing the actual screen of the offer, we're probably just going to tell you the offers. But there we have it. Nine pints of hamburger pickles. So they're probably a little thicker than normal pickles, but we did the little waffle cutter and it's a little more difficult to see where you're slicing. So I'm going to get a um, container to put this in and I'll show you where I put it in in just a minute. Okay guys, so I got one of our wide mouth jars here. And we are just gonna pour this salt in here. And I was hoping I can get most of it in here. I'll probably just toss the other rest because we still have another big box of it. Then I have these really cool. Um, little lid so I'm not using my canning lids so I'll just have to take a little bit out it looks like but it makes a little seal and then we have our sticker so that we can put this in the cabinet and everyone will know it's pickling slash canning salt so no one uses it for the wrong thing. So there we go. I'm going to put it in the cabinet with all the rest. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you like this video and if you'd like to see more food preservation videos as well as our delivery videos.